Welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Um, so I've done quite a bit of leveling since last time. I would recommend leveling up here rather than rather than the Calmlands, just because here is significantly quicker. The only thing you're missing out on is Kimari, but I mean it works out all right. And I've given some HP and strength spheres to Tidus. Because Tidus basically has no HP normally. So now he's on 3000, which is good. Um, I gave <laughs> Lulu a lot of MP spheres. We had two, but she was close to a lot of MP anyway. So she got 20 there, 40 there, another 40 there, 40 there, another 40 down there. Uh, these two in the middle are the MP spheres. I just thought I'd fill it out. So then whenever anyone else comes here, they will be able to do the same thing. Um, but yeah, basically I used all my spheres and that. Um, so what do we need for the boss fight? Um, I'm going to say we're going to need things like stone proof, if you have it, um, is a must. If not, stone ward will have to do. Um, elemental protection can help as well, because Seymour uses all elements. So what I've done with all the characters is I've added wards. Like, Lulu doesn't have very good armor at the moment, and I couldn't... I'm not really going to keep her in that long anyway. Um, I mean, Riku's got SOS Shell, which I think is more handy than a, a ward at this point. Um, we're running out of stuff to add proof to things. Yuna is the only one with stone proof which is quite good. She already had it, luckily. I didn't have anything to be able to customize it onto a weapon. So that's good. So I added fireproof to that. Uh, so Tidus is waterproof with stone ward. And then Walker's got lightning ward. He already had this, but he only had lightning ward in. So I added fireproof and ice proof and then stone ward. Just, it'll make this fight easier. Um, yeah, Orin's got lightning proof, fire proof, and stone ward. So, what I'm saying is, make sure you've got reflect, make sure you've got bio, and yeah, I think that's all we need, I think. Um, I hope. Okay, so Seymour Natus. Um, we're going to start out with the talk options. It um, is good to see you again, Lady Yuna, but you don't seem pleased. I'll only be pleased when you're gone to the far plane. Okay. Now, don't do this, but I'm going to cast Hastega just so we have a positive status on our three party members um, and then we're going to steal of Kamari Tetra Elemental times three cool now this is what he does when we have positive status on all three of our party members so what he's actually done is he's cleared it completely which really is fine so as long as you don't have pos the same positive status on all your characters, it's not too bad. Um, and actually, yeah, I forgot. Yuna now has steel. So I took a detour. She was right next to Riku's grid, so I just decided to grab it. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm just thinking what is good for Yuna to use. Because I'm thinking Shell on Tidus. Um, I can't remember what... Oh yeah, he's got Waterproof. So that means Tidus is most likely to be in most of the fight. So that does 608 with Shell. Um, oh yeah, Kamari's a beast now. I'm going to cast Regen on Yuna. I mean... That's not important, but what we can do is, you know what, I'm going to cast Haste on Yuna. 
Because I think Yuna is going to be very important. See how she's now got a turn in between... In between Seymour now. Um, what she can do is heal... Um, Titus? Oh, it's Kamari. Never mind. Oh, I need to learn to read. So he used Thunder, which means Seymour Natus is now going to use Thunder. So what I can do is more Shock. And that will mean that he does no damage. And not everyone has um, the same status anymore. So that's good. Um, so I kind of want to keep Yuna in just to be there. To be in between turns and things like that. Um, so we're going to do this talk option. This is that's basically so, all you need you to know about phase one. From this painful life? You talk too much, Seymour. Um, so we get a strength increase, which is nice. Um, Kimari doesn't really need to be in. Um, what I am gonna say is you can cast Bio with Lulu, which will just add up over the course of the fight. Although he was not the man I once knew. Kinok was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death! Oh, he's pissed. Yeah, he's gonna go crazy at Seymour now. He's gonna, he's gonna go for it. Um, so, yeah. I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We cast Shell on... We got it on Titus. I mean, I'll put it on Orin. Then we've got two people with shell. Actually, Orin's the le one that needs it least. Oh, that was nice. Um, so he's going to use water next, which means I can use Null Tide. So you've got enough examples of what what to do um, if you're in between turns and you've got Yuna in between. Um, Seymour and Mortibody. So yeah, I think now we can just start attacking into him. And actually, you can attack Mortibody as well. Which, will what it, what will happen is... Oh wow, we did a lot of damage. Um, if you get him down to 0 HP, he'll drain Seymour for whatever his max HP is at the time. It'll increase by a 1000 every time you kill it. Uh, to a minimum of... 1,000. Um, so yeah, I don't actually need to keep Unit out anymore. Um, so I'm going to steal because these Tetra Elementals are quite useful. I'll probably leave uh, a note on screen to say what it does. Um, so I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, now I'm thinking. I know Mental Break doesn't work. Armor and Power Break, I'm not sure, but the only real important one here is Magic Break. Okay. No, it doesn't work. 9,000! That's Strength Boost. So, now in Phase 2, he's casted Protect. Phase 2 starts at 24,000 HP. So, he's 4k into that already. Um... Phase 2 is the most problematic one. Um, yeah, so. I'm not going to cast Bio just because the fight will run. <laughs> the fight will be over too quickly. Um, so Walker can come in. And he's got Drain Osmos. Hmm. I'm going to see. I don't. He doesn't attack physically. Um, and I'm pretty sure silence doesn't work. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> Walker's not much good here. I'm going to actually defend Shattering Claw. This is what he does after he's put you... He's petrified you. 
And that will break you. It can be quite annoying. I'm just going to defend. So here's what he does. Now, I can bring in Yuna because we do not want him to have another turn. Uh, so we can just cast Asuna or use an Albed Potion or something along those lines. And you'll recall that he did actually cast um, Shell or Protect on himself. I think it might have been Protect. Um, so what we can do is cast Dispel if you have it. Um, and that'll break it. Now that Shattering Claw would have broke whoever was uh, petrified, which is a bit annoying, but as long as you get in between Seymour and Mortarbody, it's not too much of a problem. Um, so we're just going to keep trying to steal. Uh, it's so funny that I, I taught you in a steal. <laughs> She's got Stoneproof. There you go. Um, now I think that's all for this Phase. Um, I mean, Oren's gonna hit too hard. It's gonna hit so hard. I just want to see. Nine thousand. What is going on? What is going on? Right. So this is this phase. All oh, right. So he's below twelve thousand HP now, which means we're now in the flare phase. Which, what I'm going to say is, cast Reflect on Seymour. Um, and here's why. It's because once he's down below a certain point, uh, I think in this phase, actually, in general, Mortibody uses all of his turns to heal Seymour. So that will now reflect the healing onto the party which is really good really good um, I mean we, we don't really we can't really do anything with Lulu anymore so I'm just going to defend and now we're pretty set up because obviously Auron can basically one shot him from here almost um Trying to think what else we can do. Um, obviously, all right. If you summon, this is basically what happens. <laughs> so yeah, the fight might be a bit difficult, and you might think, oh. I'm just going to summon to make it a bit easier. Um, so I'm going to build up the overdrive. And that'll be that. Death awaits you. But no. Seymour says no. Get out of here. Go home. You drunk, fail for. Go home. And he's going to continue to to heal us. Which is very nice. He can't heal himself anymore, which is very annoying. If especially if you can't do enough damage. Um, did Kamari do anything? I think he was in for a few turns. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna try and steal a bit more. Um, so he's not had reflect on mortar body. So I am going to cast. Blizzaga. And this is what happens when you lower Mortibody's HP to zero, is that he takes it from Seymour. And I thought he'd lose HP. Hmm. I don't know. So if I do that again, he should be on just 800. And um, yeah. Oh yeah, so that, that's crazy. So he's at 3,000 HP now, so that so he should take 2,000 next time. But, 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, so what am I thinking? Titus, I think, is the best one to finish it off. Although, Orin did have that great line. I'm not sure what the overkill is. Um, so I'm going to cast... Uh, so I think Orin's the best person to get the overkill. Now, Flare does hit quite hard. But we do have Shell. Oh, wait. Why did he do that? What was he clearing? Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's over now. It's over. It's over. That is crazy. I did not expect him to be hitting 9,000. I know he got a strength boost, but that is crazy. Well, I did... He does have a weapon with 5% strength boost as well now, which he didn't have originally. But I did add dark to it, so it's essentially the same weapon he had with 5% more strength, but that's not that much. So for the for the overkill, we get four level two key spheres instead of two, which is real nice. We escaped with our skins intact, but Yuna lost something. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do or say something, anything. But nothing came. I was just as lost as she was. And then... Well? We're all clear. We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yuna? Said she wanted to be alone. Of course. Hmm. Okay, so... Um. Maybe you should talk to her? <laughs> Trying to touch a save for you, Muppet. Must be tough for Yuna. <laughs> You're a Muppet too. <laughs> we leave at daybreak. Must... If Yuna figures out where we're going, that is. What, well, whether you're going home or whether you're staying here? I feel kind of bad leaving everything up to her, you know? That's true, Walker. But you're not the save for. <sighs> oh, that's uh, <sighs> that's a bit of a dirty side, that Walker. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Um, new save. Um, sweet. Now I'm trying. Now I'm actually trying to talk to you. Or... I am tired. I am late tired. Am... Sweet. Now Riku. Wonder what Uni will do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? I do That's not. That's what you want, right? Well. If Uni really wants to keep going, then I guess I shouldn't stop her, you know? That's what I think anyway. Yuna's one of them type of people that does things for the greater good rather than for herself. So I really can't see her quitting a pilgrimage over... I mean, after all that's happened, maybe she'll be a bit broken and maybe reconsider, but... I think in the long run, her decision making is based on other people rather than herself. I wonder if there's a way to perform the final summoning and not die. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, actually, you can perform the, the final summoning and not die. It's just uh, there is a catch that we don't know about yet. I guess someone would have thought of it in the last thousand years, huh? Hey, maybe you should go talk to Uni. Yep. You've just got so many lines, though. Yuna's off in the woods. Kamari's with her, but maybe you should go too. They know that I am the best person to cheer her up because. I think it might help if you were there. See, she knows. She knows. 
It would be so easy to fight without thinking. Walk a straight line. So easy. <sighs> it would be so easy to fight without thinking. Alright, sweet. So we've spoken to all these. Kamari's in the woods somewhere. Let's go see what's happening. <laughs> 